Hey guys, I'm gonna oh, record my performance in the round number three for the Facebook Hacker Cup. <sighs> Hope it will not be as wasted as the previous ones. Um, and the charger. Okay. Start with the first one. Mm. Okay, it is a constructive problem. For each possible value of k, what do you mean possible? Oh, okay. So the parameters of the graph are not given we need to have exactly k reconstructions uh, it is clearly equal to some sum of Angular numbers. What do I know about them? Mm. Okay, I guess I can check that greedy works, but I think I remember this. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Wait. K is an even integer. How do we use it? Um excuse me. Okay, do I understand it correctly? Okay, 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 never mind. Over to the triples, okay. Mm. And sum equals zero. And mx equals one. Now Compiling in the release mode. Okay. 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 Uh, 
Um, yes. Okay. It clearly works. So I can just. Oops. So basically MXs are kind of degrees of some vertices. And the number of edges will be oh hell. I need to think. No, I don't. Mm. The number of edges is two. total number of degrees minus something as number of processes is one more and what are the edges Okay, I guess that's all. What is the example? Mm, wow, it almost coincides. Mm, three, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, wait, yes, four, three, and this is, mm, I don't want to think about it. Then why do I output so much? Then wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I guess I have to do this one. Four choose three equals. Okay. It is not eighteen. Okay.
four and three. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, it is clear. Okay. Uh, minus. How oh, there are six edges indeed. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna submit it. Yes, download. Okay, it is a validation file. Which I'm very helpful out according to my previous performance. Okay. Twenty five, seventy five. Hmm. Okay, I need a charger. Also, I need a light. I may be stupid, but I do not understand anything. <coughs> when the line was first built? Well, what about generators? Okay. It seems that... 
they're not present in the first two problems. Replacing the supports on some continuous interval mm -hmm. of the line. No renovations were made during and okay. Okay, okay. Just sleeps. I trip. K of them. Okay, I got it. So, so there is mm -hmm. the actual order differs from this. Uh, have has a common sequence of length at least ten minus k. Oof. <coughs> okay, so basically each observation belongs to the most one renovation and if it belongs to zero renovations then it must be zero observation otherwise the answer is fuck you uh, then Okay, so mm, excuse me. If we have all observations in the past, then we know for each renovation if it had to be done or if it hadn't so I guess the only thing that needs finding out is if that was possible at all which is well not very difficult, I guess, because for each renovation we have a sequence of zeros and ones, and we basically want to remove as few as possible numbers so that it will become zeros first once after. Mm, okay. Let me check. Uh, wait. Ends up to five hundred. I don't know. It is very weird. C 
seems that I need a quadratic algorithm which oh which I probably need. No. No I don't. Okay, what is the sample? Thank you for explaining it, but let me read it first. M plus on lines, N and K. And lines follow. P and R. Uh, now, what about the innovation? Okay, we don't have these signals. It makes sense. But it is still easy, I guess. Can I do it for an the cube of M. I guess it will be 25 times 10 to the power of 8. Yes. Oh, yes. Which is 2.5 billion. Which is actually good. Oh no. Okay. Oh, how do we do it? I can try to calculate the GP of P, which has K is up to M, which is good. Hmm. Which is obvious, but good. Hmm. GP of P and C equals the minimal number of inversions if the prefix P is divided into C segments. It is weird. Very weird. Uh, what do we do with mm -hmm. assume okay sometimes we can assume that there was actually no renovation containing the last point. Hmm? Sometimes we cannot. Okay, do you guarantee that the number of every P is unique? Well, I guess you don't, because here it is. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, here comes the generators. Okay. Assume we have distributed all packages. Now we have some free space left in all the mailboxes. And we need to distribute keys in such a way that it is possible to build a tree on this which basically means that um, I don't know it is a rooted tree not an ordinary one well it is easy so we just need to distribute n minus one keys uh, what do we need? The largest number of packages, so it is always better to pick uh, the cheapest ones. If we do some, say, binary search on the answer, then we need to determine for each number of packages if we can distribute the cheapest packages so that on a you see it is not necessary to use only these mailboxes and we can use some additional ones in order to get faster access to many keys. Which makes sense as long as it has capacity at least X which is almost always true, I guess. Mm, but maybe not. There seem to maybe packages uh, which 
a class place and keys. Just ridiculous in my opinion, but okay. Okay. So hmm. Oh, you have a picture. Nice. Thank you, guys. Is it some thing cut? I think. I hold on. Mm, yes. I tried to create a cycle of cards. No success. <laughs> so, do we need to minimize what? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, good. Seems to be a mathematics problem, which may be need to be pre-calculated at the beginning of the round. Well, it's a pizza that I don't care. What do we have here? B, of course. Of course. That's me. Okay. Let me think about it again. If we say mm, unique all our points, then what? 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 Well, okay, we can calculate for 
each subsegment the number of new versions if there is a renovation uh, with exactly this subsegment can we yeah I guess yes yes no yes I don't know wait yes of course it. we can and then isn't it just a stupid GP oh like I don't know um, uh, I guess so uh, wait please hmm is more stupid me or this problem uh, M and K and after this A, 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 A. I don't care about the time I can, I'm going to consume. Um, Okay, so now I don't. Uh, I want to know what is the. What is stupid indeed? Well, and CNC two one. Um. Was uh, no CC zero was size equals CC zero was size minus one as well as CC one blah 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 and plus plus CC are plus size and now I have uh, 
number of zeros and the ones on each prefix which gives me an opportunity to calculate some shit uh, wait please wait a minute I don't need to store walls Okay, I make it a mix plus maximum of well first of all sort that C right. CN is greater than zero then maximum of an X and the number of zeros um, plus the number of ones strictly after pause strict after pause strict after pause um, yes CM one CN, 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 minus CN, CN, plus. Is it? Yes. And now we have ZP IJ equals CN minus MX. And we have. Uh, um, and we need to know also if there was. At least one number one. Oops. So, mm -hmm. four, 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 four. Uh, so mean in of I don't know I and k is the minimum minimal number of inversions if we had k sequence i guess, I guess. can we can we calculate uh, not inversions but doesn't matter so the number of segments is From one to I, which is again cubic. Yes, mm, yes. I don't want. Um, I want equals. I don't know infinity. Mm -hmm. And now say that we iterate over the last and over the number of segments before it. Uh,
And I need a readyIn function. And I need... What do I need? Okay. If not needed from the i minus last till oh, half intervals till i then we remain remain uh, in i j by mean in i minus last j Otherwise, we remain it. How many inversions? Uh, not inversions. Um, well, there is a j plus one subsegment plus pp. Okay, okay. Seems good. Um, is it all? I hope so. Minus one. Hmm. Okay. So we write all the possible number of subsegments. If minimal number of inversions does not exceed k. We have output S. We don't have to build the answer. Do we? To restore it. What is else? I do not know. Seems that it should be CM. Yes. Please. Oh no. What did we do wrong? Well, the majority of test cases are past action. But Yes, I output one, which is ridiculous. Okay. Zero one and zero zero, which is correct. From zero to one, y is from zero to one. If we actually had which we have to, then it requires at least one modification, which we don't have. Yes. Uh, 
Um, okay, I guess. It is not required. No, it is completely not required. So not required. Hmm. Infinity and zero. So how is it even possible that it equals zero? No, uh, of course it equals zero. No, something went wrong. It should equal one. But GP I minus last J must equal one. I can check it explicitly. Well, it does not. Zero zero. Um. Oh. Yes. Um. I am retarded. Confirmed. Two one one four. Okay. I guess I'm ready to validate. Mm. Not so fast. Well, actually, so fast. Okay, it's okay. All dot out. Validate. I hope it will not exceed the time limit, but I'm actually sure that it will not. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, do we have a big answer bigger than... Well, it is nice that I'm so slow. Now I can see what people submit. And it is not problem D. It doesn't mean anything. Because maybe they are pre calculating it. But problem C seems double. Oh, wait, please. They didn't submit. Haven't submitted a problem B. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. It, it is not a wasted attempt. Yet. 
Well, uh, it is these mailboxes problem. Suppose that he enters. Okay, so maybe we have. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Wait a minute. If a mailbox cannot contain any key, then no, it still can contain a package. Well, I need to read it the program statement because I feel that I could have missed some important constraint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Each the corresponding key, ten packages. Quadruples of constants. Yes. K is at most the minimal number among n and then what is k? No seriously, what is it? Uh, a generator parameter. Okay. X is the size of the key. G S and G P are Generator parameters S and P are right. mm -hmm. the size, the capacity, and the size. Well, mm -hmm. maybe some explore. So again, if we if we are going to steal the more C packages, C for count and We still the small stars. And imagine that we put them into the mailboxes. Then the only constraint. So after this we can imagine that we filled all the mailboxes by keys. And we want to ensure that there is no such an awkward situation that the number of non empty mailboxes exceeds. The number of keys plus one. Yes. Yes. Of course. This is what we need to check. Okay. Even without the binary search, I guess we could try to iteratively add the next cheapest package and watch the empty mailboxes and so on does it makes sense 
to put a package into a mailbox which cannot even contain a single key. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can just ensure that keys can be very hella big. Just watching at the samples. X is the fourth number of each test case. Yes. And moreover, no, not moreover, for each there are are five lines for each mirror. Okay. Five lines. Five lines. Five lines. Five lines. Uh, wait. You didn't tell us the parameters of the last case. Hmm. Hmm. S is is the capacity, yes. Oh, isn't it? Yes. And indeed key is greater. Oh no. How is it possible? <clears throat> Can anyone imagine a mailbox which is smaller than a key? Uh, which is smaller than its own key also shit why don't we use mm. okay it is insanely stupid The problem would be so much nicer. Mm -hmm. Okay, just imagine for a second that it is not the case. Then basically, okay, we can watch the number of keys. It is easy, I guess. It does. Well, each uh, package decreases the number of keys by its size divided by this at the key size but some of them being placed into the mailbox which is modular X strictly less than the size of the package modular X decrease it one more so one can say that we have to place them to minimize the number of bad placements which is a Well, I don't know. Which is a uh, maximum matching problem. But there are tricky mailboxes. <coughs> which can be used. I 
I don't know why. Okay. Now seriously. If we have an opportunity, a possibility to put a package into such a mailbox, which cannot contain any key, do we need to use it? I think yes. So imagine there is a small package which is put into another mailbox which can actually contain a key and we could put it into this mailbox yes so there are two options the first one is that it did not decrease the number of keys. Mm. Then, fortunately, there we just. Oh no. We just decrease. Increase the number of non empty mailboxes without increasing. Uh, yes, without actually increasing the number of keys, so no. in this case we don't, we definitely don't want it, but if we decreased the number of keys, then we could put it in the Mi micro mailbox micro mailbox number femto mailbox ok but in general no unless it does not decree decrease the number of keys we want it in a bigger mailbox okay so these are let's say the emergency mailboxes okay so can we pretend that no we can't or, or, or can we no we cannot I guess Well, it is a serious, serious thing. I have made quite many statements, so I think it is better now to recheck it, recheck my formulation. Yeah, of course, it is obvious we need to, and maybe we have to handle the case when a answer is zero, which is the third temp sample case. So I guess we are good here. So basically, yes, we need the number of non-empty mailboxes to be at least the number of keys plus one uh, at most. Yes. Uh, 
how can we achieve this? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. We can use the emergency mailbox with even with the minimal package. Now this will increase number. <sighs> hmm. So what do we want? We can restate the problem as the total number of keys must be at most one smaller than the total number of field emergency mailboxes. Yes. Plus the total number of normal mailboxes. Yes, with binary search, I think we can handle it. It will work. Uh, for eternity. No, I guess no. <laughs> so, I think I need a binary search over the answer. <laughs> we can always use zero packages and we can never use the minimum of the number of packages and the number of mailboxes plus one. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh no, it is easier, easy peasy, but requires some handwork. Well, and. Um, Then, oh uh, no, the generator. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Vector int r int a b c d. What else? What else do we need? And minus two.
Oh no, it is done. Yes. Is it? Yes. Um. Okay. I don't know how to solve this problem. Maybe I forgot. Maybe I have tricked myself. I need to what am I binary searching? Is it as a number of packages or maybe it is the number of emergency checkboxes uh, mailboxes you know? or maybe it is what can be well I don't know maybe it is not about Binary search. <sighs> so well, can we? No, we. What do we need? We need to put an mailbox. How to, to check if we can deal with count packages? Well, it can be placed. Wait a minute, please. Wait. Dealing with count packages means that the number of used emergency mailboxes plus the number of normal must be at most one plus I don't know some constant uh, initial number of keys well some okay, constant minus the floors and minus also uh, plus max match yes which means that the maximal matching minus the 
number of used emergency guys must be at least something we can calculate the maximum matching minus the number of the emergency guys oh my oh my well assume that it is not inside the check function that we know the number of used emergency guys that means that f of cnc minus cnc which is also some function of cnc must be um, plus maximal matching must be at least something f of cnc is decreasing maximum matching is decreasing oh. the life is hard I'm starting to think that we need to add um, the flow one by one. F of CNC is non increasing, minus CNC is decreasing, maximal matching is decreasing. is decreasing, I, I would say, kind of. Minus used emergency also, yes. Sometimes we can use this number of emergency guys. Sometimes we cannot. Of course, I can make a double binary search, but it will surely consume a lot of time. We can kind of return some flows back, but it is weird or not. Um, oh, wait. In this network, there are about million of million, million, million edges. Yes, fine. No, I can. I can do it better. Of course. Okay. So we have numbers on the left, numbers on the right. Wait. 
the cheapest guys are exactly the guys which can be put into the emergency mailboxes. Yes, we can. And okay. Okay, I assume that we have mm -hmm. Okay, is it no So, maximum matching. I feel so stupid. I think that. Okay, maximal matching minus used emergency. Is something that either increases by one or doesn't change as we increase CNC by one. It increases by one if it can be put. Well, how do we place them? Greedy, yes. Is it greedy placement? Of course, yes. Either we can place it there or we cannot, which means that we kinda rebuilt what we have already placed. Um, it has nothing to do with clothes. When we increase this by one, it may happen that. Oh, wait. Is it maybe yes or no? Uh, not no. I mean, <sighs> when we are forced to use the emergency mailbox, what do we do? We place some package, the greatest package which can be placed into one of the mailboxes there. And one ha what happens next? Some package may be replaced into the old mailbox. After this, the next package may be replaced into the old mailbox and so on until there is a package which still cannot 
be placed into the ultimate box which breaks the chain yes so if we reorder the normal mailboxes then There is some subsegment. Which is used. Maybe it, it will be better to proceed from the end. Sort of emergency as well, and moreover, we need to do so. so. Mm. Now, for each package, we can reveal the leftmost position, it can be put into. Wait, please. Did I erase the comment? I need this. Okay. and normal j is strictly less than p of i plus plus j and if j equals normal size and break left can of i equals j plus plus fine <sighs> okay so I can write a stupid solution and ensure that it passes the example. Um,
do I really need to do so? Yes or no? Okay. So the number of keys decreases. Well, let me call it balance. Balance decreases by I don't know. No, I know. Uh, also, balance decreases by one. Yes. And also, initially, balance should be one more. And also balance should be normal size. And now we have zero matching, zero used emergency. We can even solve balances is zero. Let me check it. No, it is at least zero because f of c and t equals at least normal size. Moreover, it is strictly greater than than zero, but I don't want to check it because I don't have to. Yes. Ah well. So now we want to know if this guy can be placed into the mm -hmm. the normal mailbox uh, any normal mailbox place or m which equals I don't know minus one and in the last uh, emergency package equals Equals what? Equals nothing. I don't want. Um. Okay. Int plus normal equals um, one. Current normal equals zero. If current normal is a valid index and If while and normal current normal is not enough, then we increase current normal and if current normal is strictly less then normal size then we make placed yes and okay yes, we do some logic what logic do we do um um some guys are already in emergency, which will we will mark as yes, it, it records, which we will mark as minus two. Okay, the best coding practices. 
No, it is ridiculous. We will denote them as minus ones actually. We will be able to distinguish it. Okay. Um well actually we could use M here, it doesn't matter. Um if emergency um empty, then we break. Okay. Otherwise we will try to put anything there. How? You ask easily I answer J equals I while G J is zero and zero J um did I compare I'm sorry. I think I meant. Oh no no no! no, no, no. Yes, no, it's okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um. Well. Yes. Excuse me. But this means that the package sizes modular x are not necessarily sorted I am very upset and demotivated mm. Okay, okay. No. Yes. No. Shit. Okay. Maximal matching minus used emergency is actually how much we could shoot. Okay, maybe it is about binary search. Then we can sort it. No, I don't know. If we want to check if we can place CNC packages, then we need, oh no, this to be at least something where maximal matching includes placing into an emergency mailbox. And in these terms, it means that putting into an emergency mailbox gives us zero, and putting uh, into a bad mailbox. Do I even check 
that what I place actually fits into a mailbox. Oh no, 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 no. Why is the life so hard? I think, well, I think it actually makes our life easier, does it? I guess I need a new cup of tea. Maybe I need to make a new tea. Which I actually want. No number of packages. Well, it is definitely easier with the binary search. Yes, no, I don't know. It is so obvious with double binary search. What? Oh, um, okay. Let me think a little. If we are iterating over CNC and then overused emergency, then we know how. We know exactly the. 
list of packages which need to be placed and we know exactly it's the number of normal guys and we want to ensure that there are at least this many guys which can be placed properly however some guys can be placed into a smaller number of mailboxes No, no, it is easier with <laughs> an extra logarithm, but um, I don't care. Balance, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's say add equals zero, which can also be achieved, uh, always be achieved, and r equals plus one which can never be achieved um, yeah, uh,
um, okay. How does it help us if we use the emergency? Maximal matching minus used emergency. Yes. Um, where maximal matching means without the emergency, no, yes. Um, Okay, I have lost. I lost my. Whatever. The maximum matching can increase by one. Or if it doesn't, it can be. can possibly remain the same by an extra usage of emergency oh hell why is it so hard which means that once we cannot do anything well it is not extra oh. well I'm here again don't know what to think of yes okay maximal matching excluding the emergency must be at least something moreover we need to place each guy into a mailbox with a sufficient capacity why is it monotonous in any of ways over the number of used emergency mailboxes If we have fixed the number of hmm. well, okay, 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 okay. Assume we have put everything we can into the emergency mailboxes. What does it mean? It means that. Okay, after this we can, I don't know, do some greasy shit and therefore put our boxes, our packages into our boxes somehow. It may happen that it was not, it is not enough for matching and and stuff. Wait, what greedy shit? Okay. So we either add a new modular or remove something and what why is it 
Oh, why? That was a good idea. Work here. I guess it is kind of obvious, but I don't want to issue because I believe. Less than an hour. Okay. If we then we know that all normal mailboxes are strictly greater than the guys which can <laughs> fit into an emergency mailbox so basically we can then put them one by one from the emergency mailboxes and put them somewhere I guess and no other binary search is needed Huh. anti a genius of course no mm. well number of keys okay the number of normal guys okay the normal number of emergence <coughs> the capacity of emergency guys let's scan most of them then we okay count all cells i'll call it count i hope there is no function std count std count ah cnc okay and balance equals uh, keys minus normal size plus one uh, the minus cnc and four Since you, um, <laughs> balance minus equals uh, okay now we are fine yes we will try to put everything we can into an emergency stuff j equals emergency size minus 1 and i is cnc minus 1 uh, blah 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 uh, while b is plus at least 0 and this package does not fit break but I don't care okay and use cnc equals zero I can call accumulate but I don't want to okay now what can we do now? Now we can just... No, it will be a multi-set, not an ordinary, okay. Multi-set int m because m stands for the multi-set for int i is normal size 
one and J is CNC minus one. Um, J, no, I don't know what do we want actually to do. Oh. oh, I don't know. Let's say that I declare a variable or two variables i and j. I am therefore cursed. <coughs> First of all, while well, j is at least zero and is used, we do this. Um then if i is o no no okay we want to place the guy number j mm. yes the guy number j and while no not while if j is less than zero then break Do I write it? Why I is this here? M um, insert normal of I minus minus percent X. Fine. While I is this zero and normal I. I is at least p of j then we do basically the same my chunk equals zero after iterator equals m lower bound of of j if the iterator is not m n then we just increase the matching and erase it otherwise if m is empty we just return false because we don't have enough mailboxes otherwise we erase the begin <sighs> what next next we are going to <laughs> while balance plus matching minus this cnc is less than zero and i don't know what else we are going to do something scary um <coughs> okay vector of guys this cnc is not needed Yep. Um, where do I use this CNC? And not M guys. And, and M lower bound 
of M guys. Um, <laughs> Come back and see it's not the end. Uh, I hope I can write this such construction. And write it minus mar um, and guys arrays uh, wait wait a minute wait a minute Brrr. huh bang and guys arrays what what do you mean arrays or back I mean uh, and we return the condition fine I guess it is all <laughs> well I have to debug it first uh, what a pity okay I'm lower bound Yes, it is correct and it's two. Well, what is the value of x? It is one. Everything is normal. Yes. Well, it is easier to debug only one case. Isn't it? It tells me zero, which is Clearly incorrect. Okay, what is the balance? No. Actually, what is this in T? Two and eight. The answer is three, right? Yes. It tells me that two and 8. What is the balance? It is the number of keys. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. How is it? How is it possible? Uh -oh. What is the number of keys? Thirteen. Well, it is correct. And yet the balance is well. After replaced the two guys, it means that the balance is twelve, right? Right, but eight. But by eight we mean that we decreased CNT and we decreased normal size, which is and we added one. No, it is eight. And we need balance plus maximal marching. Minus used emergency 
to be at least zero, which is very easy. Yes. Like, I don't know how is it even possible to fail. Oh, I think I know how it's possible. Do we know? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Fine. Come on, come on. Well, we put everything into the emergency, right? But there is no emergency, so this is why. Ow, my neck. Normal size minus one, and normal size is at least. P of J, we insert this one, two. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Whatever we do here, we must decrease J. Now it says the answer is 2, which is also incorrect, but at least it is better. So now the balance is <coughs> f of c and c equals 3, plus 1 minus 3 equals 1 minus c and c equals minus 2. Well, but plus maximum matching. equals more than zero. Mm. Here J percent X of course. Sorry. Now it is P which is correct. Two, zero, two, four, sixteen. Well, I think I'm ready <sighs> to wait for six minutes of shame. if it validates. Does it? Come on, do I even have an internet? Yep. Um, maybe they rerun it 10 times. No. Half an hour. Uh, no. An hour plus. Half an hour. Um. Wait. Oh, 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 wait. Okay. It <laughs> is not so slow. Why do I even bother? Submit. Okay, I'm twenty fourth. No, I'm thirty seventh. Yes, <laughs> thank you for quick updating. Um, well, I suck with my penalty. Who do I see here? 
my teammate and everyone <laughs> okay <coughs> Where is my colleague? Where is another my other teammate? The other um Nikolai Mit Rukov My former teammate Chris Mary Hi that's uh, my colleague Anton Trigup, Trigup, sorry. No, no, he's not sleeping. Well, I understand, Andre, very, very well. Fine, let's try to imagine the model beyond the problem D. But now, for now, I want something. Okay. S one has no incoming chain. S one's chain to ledge S two and blah blah blah. A sequence of cards. Chain not connecting to any card, but rather to either a wall ledge or no ledge. Okay, so it is allowed for the sequence to be you no know, isolated. Rigid enough. Yes. The values are given. For example, four and four one five means that it. Mm -hmm. Understandable. You may repeatedly perform either of the following actions. Pay one quarter if you have to detach. Okay. Gain one quarter by attaching. Um. So initially, wait. If I attach, attach something having zero money, I can can actually loot quarters. Like, wait. Well, I cannot seem to be not able because. Initially, each card is connected to something. Yes, isn't it? Where are the constraints? Yes. And moreover, okay, one. Um, hmm. For example, beginning, you could perform action now. To detach, I can. You could then perform action two to return my quarter back. My quarter back. And you know, I begin with Q quarters. I don't want a sequence of more than C cards. Well, what do I have at any moment? I have several sequences which are going to be attached. The final state, only the final state, must not have a sequence consisting of more than X cards attached to match and plus one. Okay, I can understand it. So there is a segment of the number of cards signed attached to a uh, wedge and plus one and 
okay the maximum number of chains which can end up connected oh so I don't have to I don't have to satisfy all the conditions do I? Shit. <sighs> Another one cubic problem. Now wait. So in the final state. I actually can some of the cards can actually be free or oh. then it is obviously better to keep final guys as many final guys free as possible because we don't seem to care about our final number of quarters do we is it say it anywhere that we want our quarters back no. Don't that doesn't seem to that are marked. No, 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 the answer is I don't know <laughs> but if we promise to satisfy this particular set of constraints then we Cannot hack anyone. Not else. Well, talent. Uh, who is it? I don't know. Probably Kusanga. Probably not. No. Well. I don't believe that I will proceed to the finals like one third of everyone who is above me should fail system test and I should not this has never happened So I can chill and concentrate on the last problem. Excuse me, what do I mean? Okay. What happens? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, um, uh, the maximum number of chances. Okay. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Okay, okay. It's not more than an well. So we need to know basically the number of quadruples where we can satisfy at least say at least such number of requirements or maybe we can some no, I don't want to. how can we calculate this how to skip our initial capital quarters Well, our strategy seems to look like we pay Q quarters and detach some Q chains and then we repeatedly attach, detach, attach, detach and so on. This seems like truth to me. I Moreover, if no. C is no. at least X, if C is at least X, then hmm. so basically. I have an initial pair of chains um, and the final pair of chains we need to obtain and when we decide to satisfy this number of requirements we basically say that in the end we will have this exact configuration this exact configuration? no, maybe we don't have enough quarters which is basically the constraint on the number of components so maybe there will be there will be less chains then, but some of them will be incorrect. Okay, seems fine to me. And the number of chains of allowed chains will be at least two, but we will not be able to attach n plus one and n plus two to anything, but I don't really think that we will be in urge to ten moment. Seems to be another dynamic problem to me. and then some inclusion exclusion principle mm. okay.
I have decided to spoil my appetite. Or appetite, I don't know. How are we going to abuse the X and Y constraints? I mean, okay, if we cannot attach more than X, oh, it is the final state. So initially, and while we are in the process of requiring the final state, uh, obtaining the final state, we, the only constraint on the number of chains with the component of the size of the components is C. Moreover, it is C cards. So we have the constraint on the number of components, on the maximal size of components at any moment of time. What else? on the final sheet, which is not interesting, because... not interesting, ok.
including initially and I guess including the final state. Yes, I'm talking about this. So we connect, we attach something Who am I trying to lie to? Well, okay. So we do not fail the constraint about C at the beginning. Otherwise, it is not interesting. Uh, then. Assume we have, I don't know, one quarter. One quarter only. If C is the exact length of our components, then there is not much we can do. Basically, we can do nothing. But if C is one more, then we also can do no, not very. I don't know. In any case, <coughs> if you are not allowed to have four components, then we can just detach one suffix and detach it to, I don't know, another chain. Fine. And then there are constraints X and Y. Let's forget about them. Well, if we have two quarters, then we can actually, I don't know, swap some segments, which allows us actually to perform some juggling. Yeah. If C is exactly the length of each of these guys, then all the juggling we can achieve, I guess, is just... Oh, shit. Then... Hmm. I guess we can end up with two arbitrary chains, cannot we? Just, I don't know, we can... <coughs> well, I know how to obtain two arbitrary components without any particular order, but, but then it, it is very easy to detach, say, the last one, 
Let us split it wherever we want. Then attach and attach. Okay, if we have two quarters, then we can do almost everything, maybe everything. So, if we have two quarters and we are not uh, losing at the beginning, then I guess we can rearrange everything. We can obtain each possible state, each possible final state, and we I guess we can. Uh, okay. I did not use the statement about cycles, which probably means that I am telling liars. Everything I can do is detaching a tail and attaching it to another chain, another component. <coughs> and with zero quarters, I can achieve one particular answer. Shit. This problem became an easy one. Okay, imagine that we have one quarter, then K 
Either quarters is not interesting. If you have one quarter, then we not only can we not only can we detach the tail, we can also attach it to something unless it Unless it violates the X or Y or C rule, and moreover, I don't know. <coughs> we can. After that, we can detach it. Oh, we can do something with only one quarter by detaching and detaching and detaching and detaching and detaching some tails which can give us a chance to rearrange the tail oh, uh. so basically we can Okay, zero quarters are easy, two quarters and more are maybe not that easy, but at least how do we count the, count the answer? I don't know, we can trade over everything, it will be n to the power of 3 which is absolutely fine and also if q is equal to 1 then it also can turn it over something well, maybe it won't mm. ok, I think Everything I can do now is just to watch me falling. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. to eat to cook and then eat after it changes like in the main series. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I should do something for the viewers. But I am not so experienced. I can, I can explain my solution reading and the tasks. In the first task, we need to construct a graph, a connected graph, undirected, where the number of Triples of vertices where the second uh, vertex is connected to both the first and the third one is exactly k, well, two times k, because each unordered triple counts as two ordered triples, but it doesn't matter actually. Uh, but looking at the graph, one can use the formula which equals some of the triangular numbers of 
the degree of each vertex choose 2 because for each vertex there are exactly so many number of triples for each is the middle one and it turns out that if we try to get some uh, vertices with uh, degrees more than one and arrange them into a line and connect to each other and for each of them uh, add uh, a proper number of leaves then it will be fine, it uh, will fit into the constraint of 2000 vertices and edges. Maybe there are some other constructions which I don't know about. The problem B was... Excuse me, but I do not want to explain the problems B and C. Well, it was some DP sheet with events and it was some other sheet which I don't even remember if I proved it. This problem seems to be, I don't know, the most interesting if it's talk about the idea but I don't know. I do not like the counting part, but I am not whining because um, maybe if I solved it, it would be inter more interesting for me than the calculation part. But now it just looks like they had an interesting idea and made a boring problem of it. Not very boring, because the idea is interesting, but still, they could make it more interesting, in my opinion, which I'm not sure about. Well, let's wait for the results. Did everything that I submitted pass? Yes, it passed. And I'm 26th. Hell yeah. Hmm. Where is my teammate? That's why the wrong. Okay, I <laughs> didn't actually want to take part in the finals anyway. And didn't actually believe that I would proceed. But it is a pity that Jenny did not proceed. I guess the bug is so minor. Okay, the problems were more interesting than in the previous editions, uh, no, not the edition, editions, in the previous stages of this year's edition. Uh, kudos to the authors for these problems, for this amount. Good luck to all the finalists, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, maybe see you.